Once upon a time, in a serene village nestled deep within the mountains, there lived a wise Zen master named Akira. People from far and wide sought his guidance and wisdom. They would travel long distances to visit his humble temple, hoping to learn from his profound teachings. Akira possessed a remarkable mirror, known as the Zen Mirror of Self-Reflection. Legend had it that this mirror had been passed down through generations of enlightened masters. It was said to possess a mystical power that allowed it to reflect the true essence of those who gazed upon it. One day, a young student named Hiroshi arrived at the temple, eager to learn from the Zen master. Hiroshi was ambitious and filled with a thirst for knowledge. He approached Akira with great enthusiasm, seeking to understand the depths of Zen philosophy. Intrigued by Hiroshi's determination, Akira decided to put the young student's resolve to the test. He led Hiroshi to a serene chamber within the temple, where the Zen mirror of self-reflection stood on a wooden pedestal. Akira instructed Hiroshi to sit before the mirror and gaze deeply into its shimmering surface. In the mirror, you will see your true self, the master said. It will reflect not only your physical appearance but also your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. Take this opportunity to confront the deepest recesses of your being. Hiroshi, eager to embark on this transformative journey, sat down and fixed his gaze upon the mirror. At first, he saw his own reflection staring back at him. But as he continued to peer deeper, he noticed something extraordinary. The mirror began to reveal not just his external appearance, but also his innermost thoughts and emotions. He saw his doubts and insecurities, his fears and anxieties. He saw moments of arrogance and moments of kindness. Hiroshi watched in awe as his true self unfolded before him, exposing the complex layers of his being. Days turned into weeks, and Hiroshi remained engrossed in his self-reflection. He confronted his flaws and acknowledged his strengths. He learned to let go of his ego and embrace humility. The mirror became his constant companion, guiding him through the labyrinth of his own mind. Finally, the day came when Hiroshi felt ready to share his revelations with Akira. With newfound wisdom and clarity, he approached the master and bowed respectfully. Master Akira, the Zen mirror of self-reflection has shown me the depths of my being, Hiroshi said. I have come to realize that true enlightenment lies not in seeking knowledge outside ourselves, but in understanding ourselves from within. Akira smiled warmly, acknowledging Hiroshi's growth. You have indeed grasped a profound truth, my student, he said. The mirror merely served as a tool to guide you on your path of self-discovery. It is through self-reflection that we find the answers we seek. From that day forward, Hiroshi continued his journey as a devoted student of Zen, sharing his newfound wisdom with others. And the Zen mirror of self-reflection remained a powerful symbol in the temple, reminding all who sought enlightenment that the path to self-discovery begins with looking inward.